Hey what is up guys, it is Combo here and today I'll be showing you guys how to utilize the, the event pan slash crop effect in Sony Vegas 10. So basically what this uh, effect slash tool is used for um, is to make your video full screen or to um, you know crop out something you don't want in the video or to zoom in on a certain point to uh, make to emphasize it. So um, sometimes this tool is also used for making videos full screen when it uploaded to YouTube. So basically I'll be showing you um, all about the event pan crop effect. So um, let's start it off with this video I have of me. Um, basically what you want to take in con into consideration when uh, changing the uh, when utilizing the pan and zoom or pan and crop effect is what your video was captured in. Say if it was captured in a regular camera, which this one was, um, my aspect ratio was 4 by 3 so basically up in here there are four preset slots here um, 1 by 1, 4 by 3, 16 by 9, and 1 uh, 85 by 1 or something, I don't know what that is but um, if you capture it in 4 by 3 you want to have it in 4 by 3 so it will it will make the full it will make the video full screen so if you have it on 16 by 9 obviously you can see the it's not full screen and it's cut off at the top and bottom so um, if you captured in 4x3 and you still want the video to be full screen, um, basically what will happen is when you render a 4x3 video, it will um, be rendered with black bars on the side and on, e on either side of the video when it is uploaded to YouTube. So basically how you can eliminate that and make that full screen is you want to go to here and you want to go to source, maintain aspect ratio, you want to turn off. So basically... Um, I'll show you guys what it would look like. Um, one sec. I'll show you guys when you render a 4x3 in a 16x9 by, by um, project, it will render with black bars on the side, as you can see here, which is not wanted by many because uh, on YouTube, um, it, the video looks better full screen. So let me cancel that really quick. And I'll show you guys uh, what, what it will look like um, if, it, if you turn the maintain aspect ratio off. All right, just uh, no, and basically now it will, even though the video is captured in four by three, it will render the video in full screen, making it full screen on YouTube. It may stretch it out a little, obviously, because the pixels pixels aren't there when it was captured initially, but um, nonetheless, it still it still looks all right. So um, now let's let's move it over here to the to the gameplay aspect. Um, I will keep it a still frame, so it's not technically gameplay. So um, I'll show you guys what to do since many of you are here from Call of Duty. So um, this is captured on the Wii, and as you as you can see, there are black bars on the top, and bottom, along with the left. On Wii, uh, for some reason, the system uh, it has a huge bar on the left and almost nothing on the right. So I'll show you guys how to eliminate that and make it full screen while rendering. So here you go to Event Pan Crop. crop. And uh, basically, you want to capture in 16 by 9 if you don't know how to go into your Wii settings, change it to 16 by 9 or whatever. But um, you want to go to 16 by 9 uh, preset, and the black bar on the side here you want to eliminate it, so you want to go like that. And this initially cuts off the top and bottom a little bit, um, but it's not really noticeable at all. So that gets rid of the bar on the left here. And like I said earlier, if you want to get the, rid of the bars on the top and bottom, you uh, turn maintain aspect off. So it's now full screen, and when you render, it will be full screen uh, H HD 16 by 9. So um, that's how you do that. Now, there's a little thing you can do with keyframes. Um, now that I've covered how to make it full screen, there's a little bit. You can mess around with the keyframes a little bit. Um, let's go back to this video because I have to play it. So... If you, if you want to zoom in, say on a certain point, if you want to zoom in on the bottom left corner for some reason, um, you want here's the keyframe position positioning down here. At five seconds, you say you want to zoom in on the bottom left corner. So basically, what you want to do is shrink the box here. Uh, when you shrink it, it creates a keyframe, and you want to drag the box over here to where you want it to uh, from to where you want it to be. So uh, let's drag it over here. Hold up. There we go. Drag it on the bottom left hand corner. And then uh, 10 seconds later or 5 seconds later, you want it to return to its normal position. 
So basically you just want to hit uh, 4x3 which will preset it back to the normal thing. So um, now when you go when you play the video it will slowly zoom in on the bottom left hand corner which is where you wanted it to zoom in and when it reaches the point it will zoom back out slowly so it looks a lot better uh, if you ever need to zoom in on something so uh, that's about it for event pan crop uh, there's a few other things here um, that you can mess around with like this you can move the position around stuff like that so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching if you found this useful I would uh, appreciate a like and other than that guys uh, thank you for watching again and I will see you all later